Bates Collards, an all-time favorite down here in the South. In Florida, Georgia, all type of areas. You're liable to lose a limb when playing with someone's collard greens. People are serious about these collard greens in this area. The School of Aquaponics. So um, this is day 31, and we're getting it started. We're getting it started. You can already see that not only do people love collards, but pests do too. They're all-time favorite for pests, I'm telling you. They're all-time favorite for pests. You want to attract pests? Bring some collars inside of your garden, and they will be there for the feast, for sure. Now, we're just going to apply some um, uh, pesticide on here because we have to stop this problem or else we won't have a crop. Now, day 40 comes along. We can see that the crop is growing. It's maturing. Um, we don't really see any signs of deficiency, so the plant is healthy, uh, minus a few bites that the, um, the, the pest have taken out of the plant but other than that everything is looking great just checking the back of the leaves under the leaves to make sure there's no hidden pests or any other type of damage that the crop may may have so just checking everything looks great um day 53 now i have to tell you something i told you that the collards are something serious around here so there's customers that came looking for collars i say hey i don't have any collars at this time they're not ready yet we don't care we want collards now listen they're small and they're going to be priced very high if I have to take it out of this grow. Look, we don't care. We need collards and we need them now. Okay, hey, if you say so, you're going to get what we got then. So fifth day 53, we had we took a small harvest out of this crop. And you can harvest a crop anytime. You can eat the collard anytime, but it has more maturity to grow, usually to about 75 days, and then the crop is ready. But, hey, if, if that's what's the request, if that's what the business requires, then that's what, you know, that's what we'll do. And plus, I still wanted to have my limbs at the end of the day. <laughs> I mean, that's a joke, but, you know, it, it's really serious, though, the collars around here. So day 63, look, they pop right back up. The bottom leaves have begun to mature more, and they're beginning to spread out. Um, it's not as tall and as uh, lengthy as it would be uh, otherwise, but it's still growing. Now, guess what? Ten days later, who pops back up? The same ones that bought just ten days ago. That's why I'm harvesting this plant. They say, we need collars again. I say, hey, they're not ready. They say, we'll give you double the price of what we paid before because those collars were so good. So that's why they're being harvested early again. So now we're at day 84, 84. And guess wh who comes again? The same people. We need collars again. I say, you know what? Just take the whole plant, man. It's, uh, it's mature now. Just take the whole plant. And I don't want any money this time. I'm going to give it to you for free because you've been so persistent in getting these collars but now i'm going to grow collars for you separately and i'll have a batch for you every single week now i have a lifetime customer this is business ladies and gentlemen and this concludes the growth cycle for the collars this is brooklyn st michael with the school of aquaponics toodles